So you're going to start with, at least on my side, you start with two tiles and they have all three colors. So you can put any pillar on here. You need to match the colors. So starting out, it's pretty easy, but then it gets, you know, a little more complicated as you go. What do you start with? What I start with is also two tiles and it is three colors as well, but it does show for me, probably as a hint, which took me forever to recognize, is that the greens are connected to mm -hmm. light up and show you that you have two points, but none for the other colors. And if you look at the scoreboard, you can see there are two for the hexagon. Yep. Because there are two tiles down. Right, and they're connected. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's showing that I'm getting two points and you can see Kita's points are on the left with the pillar shape. Mine are on the right with the hexagon shape. This little hint on the back is also telling you that you are not trying to make these symbols. It is just telling you how many points you get for connecting X amount of colors. So if one color is alone and not touching anything, it's zero points. You don't get anything for it. If you have two colors touching, no matter the shapes or anything, that does literally not matter. You get two points and so on and so forth. Another important thing is that for A, B, and C, if I take the pillar that is in A, Cat cannot take anything from B or C. Cat has to take the tile that is in A because the stairs will disappear. Now you can put them back if you're like, oh, I don't want this anymore, but both players have to do that and then you can you know, pick a different one. But yeah, you whichever uh, one you choose, you are both locked in to that. So are we ready? Yeah. I would choose A if that's possible because that's going to give me three colors, but I that's can up definitely to you. do A. It's also important to know that um, Cat has a different side of the tile. Yep. So what Cat is seeing is different than what I'm seeing. So when Cat puts this tile down, it's going to show up on my board as all three colors, but on Cat's right. board, it's going to show up as what? It's two colors, red and blue. Okay. So that's really important. Uh, yeah. to know because it was confusing when we were first doing this and Kat would put something down and say it was green and then it was blue and I was like what are you talking about so I'm gonna come up here and get this blue pillar now you will see the stairs disappear okay they are also disappearing for Kat so Kat has to take this one unless I were to put the pillar back so right. I take it yep and Kita has already communicated that it's all three on the back for yeah. me it's two so I just need to put it anywhere also good thing to note there is a light that is a projector from the ceiling it lets you know where the other character is standing not looking so this is where cat is standing right now this spotlight here so you can communicate where you want the tile to be placed now right now because it's all three colors it doesn't really matter to me so i'm gonna let cat kind of choose what works for them Keep in mind if I am saying, oh, I need right here, is here okay? And Kita was like, yes, I would need to move to then place the tile. But for Kita, it looks like the light is moving off of where it needs to be. So like, keep that in mind, don't panic. Just make sure you communicate where I'm standing. Okay, and then move. I can rotate mine in any way. It depends on how I'm standing. So you can rotate these however you need or like if you are on my side, but it does not affect what colors Kita gets. Honestly, player two, which is me, has the easier job because I don't have to rotate anything. I just have to make sure that the pillars match whatever tile color is down. So I can do either, I mean, I can do anything, but I can do here or here or either also here or here. Any of those is fine with me. Okay, I'm just gonna do it up here. I don't because know why. I, you know, it's all three colors, so I'm good. Okay, so I'm gonna put mine here, but I'm gonna rotate it so that way, for me, the blues are connected, but I've also set it up so the reds can easily connect with a tile that might be here in the future um, to add more points. But right now, putting this down will give me two blue and they lit up, so I got two points. Not yet, once Kita places hers, then I'll be able to see now that we can see the scoreboard because we started the game they kind of are a little wonky but they are multiplication signs so it's doing blank times blank so kita needs three she can't really get seven like there's not enough pillars so the pillar person needs three of each color and the hexagon person needs seven of each color if you're trying to get 21 the overall score you get is the lowest number you have so if you have green and red to 21 but blue is 10 you're gonna get 10 points so just keep in mind that whichever one is the lowest is gonna be the one that 
uh, you get a ticket for. So if you want to get 21, which is gold, you need to get all three to at least 21. Right. And that's what we're going to try to do is get three times seven, basically. You get 10 tiles in total. So I'm going to get 10 pillars, which means that I can have one extra. So I want three red, three blue, three green. I could have four of one of those colors because I have 10 pillars in total. But if I have five of one color, we're, we're in trouble. If you're, if you're going for gold anyway. Kita also has the option to throw away one. I do not. Yeah, I have a trash can, so I, I could throw away one if necessary. So I'm going to put my blue here to start with. Okay. Now you'll see that the points have been calculated. There is one pillar, one blue pillar down for me, and Kat has two blue tiles down. And then there's still the two green tiles, which were at the beginning. But see, I don't have any green pillars down, so the score is zero because it's multiplication. All of the colors are pretty much available right now. Is there a color you want to go for? No, I'm okay with or anything. Or is the back of the tile really good? No, there. it's just uh, some are green and one is red. So nothing, there's no like dual colors or anything. Is C okay? Or actually, is B okay? That's Sorry. fine. Either one's fine. We can do B. <laughs> Let's go okay, for B. So what color do you have on B? On B, I have green and blue. They're just weird shapes. So you have to keep in mind the shapes and how they'll line up with things on the board for my side. So that's what Kat's seeing. But for me, I'm just seeing green. So the tile, once Kat puts it down, is going to be green. So keep that in mind right. when you're setting up your board. Right. Because you want them to touch. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't right. get points. So can mine go here? Yes, that's fine. Do so you kind of have to try to plan a little bit because you don't want to block yourself off? Right. Because again, you need to make sure that the colors are touching. I have to plan ahead too a bit, and that's why I'm like trying not to block off like colors and kind of making this swirl continue. So if I put this here, I have green and blue touching. So I'm gonna get two points, two more points in blue because this is zero right now. But if I make these touch, it's gonna be two. And if I make these Greens all touch. It's now going to be go from two to three because they're continuing. So now you can see that this one is green, like I said it was going to be. So I have a blue pillar in my hand. You just got to make sure they're touching. So once I do that, you're going to see this line appear to show that they're connected. And now okay. the points have added up. Yes. So you can see I have four. Even though they're not touching, this is two and this is two. These are three because they're all touching. Red, since none of these are touching, all of these are zero still. You can see that Cat has three green tiles down, but I have none. So again, zero points. But then for me, I have two blue pillars and Cat has four blue tiles. So right now we have a score of eight. I would like to try and start red. The best option for me would be C, but that's okay. If we oh, need to I mean, I can still do C. It wouldn't give me red, but I can do it. If you'd rather focus on red, that's fine. Which one is that? B. Could it be here? No. So the back of this tile is red. Putting red here, I mean, I could work with it potentially if I got another one to put here, but ideally I don't want to be in that situation. So mm -hmm. I want to work with Kat to try to get it into a more optimal position. So do you have right. another space that Does would work? this work? That or would this? Work. Either of those will work. So if either one of these work, how do I want to? Because if I could do this, then I can plan in the future to get a green one that will connect those two and make it then five because it would connect this green and it would be a connector itself. So it would be five total. Or I can also do this. But if I do this, it does for sure cut off green because green won't be able to connect in any other way this way. So it would just be four unless I connected something on that end. But I could, I would still have zero points in red, but I could easily connect these two red to make three points at some time in the future. However, I would like to keep my options open and already start building on red. So since Kita said neither matter, I'm going to put this here and give myself two red points. I have a green pillar right now and I could put it here. I'm not going to do that because I might want to use that because it's multicolor. I might want to use that for a blue in the future or a red because they're touching. So I'm going to use this just green one. A has blue and green. B has red and blue and C has blue, just blue. A would be the best for me. Okay. Can A go here for you? Uh, It could. It wouldn't be optimal though. It can go here or here. No, you're kind of going the wrong way for me. Okay. Well, 
I mean, I can put it over here. I just would only be able to use the green part. That would be ideal for me. Okay. For me, that's red and blue. So that would be okay. right in between my red and blue. So. Gotcha. So I'm going to put this here because if I do, it connects the two greens and now I'm going to have five points in green. So that's I'm going to start reds here because this is, I can only put red there. But then again, I have options. I can do a blue here. I can do a red here. So that'll set me up for later. So for me, if I can put C here, that would be great. But uh, C will not work there because that's red for okay. me. Could B work here? Yeah. Because I'm communicating to Kita what, where mine will slot in and match stuff. And Kita then looks at her board and decides if that is a good placement. So I'm going to just go here and continue my green, basically snake happening here. <laughs> so. I'm going to have to use this for green because that's the pillar that I have. I could pitch it, but I'm, I'm not really in a position where I need to do that. So I think I am going to use this multicolor for green, but that's why we have it. So that you have options when you uh, get into a situation like this. But now I'm really set up well because I have a red here, so that's going to be... Uh, they're going to be touching. And then here, again, I could do blue or red. So depending on what I get, what I need, gives me some options. So I'm going to go ahead and put the green here. And you'll see they connect. And yep, and green went up. Sure did. So I do need a lot more red, but I do know that once I put a red here, I'm going to get three points. So that's going to be, that's going to boost red up to five. So as you can see on the scoreboard, we do have green to 12. Okay. Right. You need 12 points for bronze, but this would not actually be 12 points. It would take right. from the lowest. So if we stopped right now, you know, if we were done, uh, we'd only have two points because that's our lowest. So right. just keep that in mind. And you wouldn't be able to proceed. I think you need bronze at least. Yeah, you have to have bronze to keep going. Um, C is a multicolor for me, so I would love it. But necessary. where would you put it, though? So I have to keep in mind which way like what side the colors are on. So right. because blue is there, red's on its left. If I put blue here, red would automatically be over here, which is completely not where mm -hmm. red is for me. So I can't put the multicolor here. Yeah, that wouldn't work for me. I think the multicolor is not going to benefit me then because of the way the colors are positioned, unfortunately. Do you have a spot for B? B is just wholly blue. So I can put it here and get two blue points. Mm. in either of these two it does not matter oh wait no it does matter it would prefer to be here so i don't block off red yeah. otherwise i can put it here or i can put it in this one or this one so this would be the best for me i can do that and what's the color behind mine it's red and green red and green okay mm -hmm. so i'm gonna put it here like he just said so uh that's gonna be most likely where my last green goes so I have a blue pillar, so it has to go here because that's the only blue uh, tile that I have. Um, and that's going to connect. And then technically I am done with blues because I have three. I mean, I could do four because we're going to have one left over. So I only got blue. None of it matters, but can it go here? <laughs> okay, I would like that to be A. A? That's fine yeah. by me. So for me, I have... C, which is just blue, B, which is blue and green, and A, which is blue and red. So that's going to work the best for me because then I can use the red. Because right now I need to prioritize green and red. Right. And you don't want blue anymore. Right. At least as much as we can avoid it. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you might have to just deal, but. Right. So this doesn't matter which way I orient it because I am just trying to connect these two and I will be done with blue after I place this because it's one, two, one, two, so that's four, and then three, so that's seven. So it does not matter for me. Nice. I'm just connecting them to get the points. And because that is blue and red for me, I can bring red down here, but I have a green pillar and it's gonna go there. So my greens are also done. Awesome, so blue is done for us. Yep, blue is completely done. And we have to done. focus on others. We've got 21. What I'm going to want to aim for is anything green and red. I'm not going to want to try and go for anything blue unless I have to, which I mean, B and C does provide red and blue. A is red and green, but as much as I would love both red and green options, in both circumstances, my green isn't anywhere near my reds. 
because if I put a red here, like this green is not going to reach around in time and also only needs one more. And here, there is no greens by it either. So for me, it really doesn't matter which one I pick up. However, I would love to put any of them here. So I'm gonna ask Kita if any of the A, B, and C work here where I'm standing. C would be the best because that's every color. None of these pillars are red, so I'm just kind of okay. waiting for reds <laughs> at this right. point. But that's a multicolor, so that's gonna be the best placement for okay. that. So let's do that then. Okay. And doing that, I'm purposely going to avoid touching my blue to the blue and giving us extra because I don't need it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, you know what? Yeah. That's unfortunate. What? Do you want to put it somewhere else? I can put it somewhere else. What I didn't realize was that it doesn't connect these two like I wanted it to. Mm. because of the shape it is. However, I can just put it over here and make this three. It is multicolored, so you can put it wherever you want. Like, that's fine okay. if you want to put it there. Okay. Like, it's not going to ruin anything for me. And also, so the people know, I can either put it here or I can put it here because it'll connect here. Uh, you don't have a preference between the two? Uh, the first placement is actually better for me. Okay. So I'll put mine here then, and it'll turn this into three. I still, these are zero still, because they're not connected. The reason I wanted to do that is because this red here is in the middle, so again, gives me just options. I have a blue right now, and I don't need it. So I could put it down, which would just give us even more points in blue, or if you have one, like, one that you don't want or need, you can just come right over here and just throw it in the garbage. So there you go. <laughs> and red got one extra point for me. So now it's at three. So mm. if I do this, it'll be three. And then one of them I'm gonna need to connect and make four. I have bad um, news. Because I'll need to do three and four. Yes? <laughs> uh, the bad news is I need two reds and all of them are green. Uh, so we, we got bad RNG. Unfortunately, yeah. because we only have two more left. And that means because Kita needs two reds, we're going to not have enough. And that just happens. And also, I don't actually think I can get enough in time either because I need two more reds. So if this connects, that makes it six, which is one short of seven. And that's fine. But then the last tile we have left... I can only put down one extra in red or one extra in green because of how my red and greens are oriented. So I'm in the same kind of predicament as Keto where I am one short or will be one short. Yeah. So unfortunately, RNG does play a big factor in this, but this is this is the best way that we found we can do this. So we'll probably get silver. Go ahead. Which one do you want? Doesn't matter. All um, my pillars are green. I can do A if okay. you are fine with that. Yeah. And then I'll put... Wait, can A go here? Sorry. I mean, that's matter. fine. Like, I'm at a point where I'm set up. I just need red, so it doesn't matter where you put uh, anything. Okay. So I'll put the red here, and I'll get that red point to at least six. If I were to put this green pillar here, is not touching, okay? So see, it doesn't give me four, and it's not lit up. Unfortunately, I do have one that has both green and red, but like I said, none of my green and red are close enough that I could do oh, that. Oh, now you're going to give me two red pillars? You know what? <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, so like, unfortunately, RNG does play a big role in it. But yeah, I was just showing that if they're not connected, they're not going to count. So I have this one green. It's by itself. So it's not it's not showing up on the scoreboard. So, yeah, it does not matter for me. All of them work. Well, I'll grab A. Oh, A? That's fine. Yeah, let's grab A because that's a red pillar, so I can at least... Because then that's a red and you don't care where I put it? No. Okay, so I'm just going to put it here. And we I've completed red. I'm one short in green. So mm -hmm. we will get... Oh, we didn't get silver because of the three. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So we got bronze, as you can see. So me and Keita are now just going to do exactly what we've shown you guys. And we'll just cut to our solutions and show you the board once we have gold. I mean, our process isn't going to be any Yeah, different. it's the same way you would do it. It's just like sometimes you get screwed over with RNG and you don't get the colors you need. So, yeah, I can put this in the trash if you want to just get perfect. I have now 
All seven in all of them. Okay. I will throw this away. Boop. And then we have perfectly three out of seven. No, you have eight. Oh! <laughs> wow. I fucked it up! It's fine. It's still perfect. You know what, though? Green is not lit up. So I bet <gasps> to get perfect at the very end of the game, you got to get perfect in all three. Don't ask us how we only got 21 out of 24 for teamwork. Oh, man, probably. I mean, it still gives you gold. It's just like not perfect. Let's try. Let's try and get okay. perfect. Golden ticket retry. <laughs> Golden ticket retry. <gasps> perfect score. There you yeah! go. Perfect 21. There's three. Yep, perfect 21. We have figured out they only light up if they hit 21. If you go over, you still get gold, but you will not get the perfect score, which we didn't get our first playthrough. So we yeah. didn't know that. Even though we got the gold ticket. Here's my board. And I had an extra pillar, so I threw it away. Yep, and here's mine. Here, I'll show it from there. So this is how I've got stuff connected. And I just purposely rotated stuff so they didn't connect and accidentally add more points. So towards the end, I was just trying to avoid making additional connectors. Because I could have connected that blue to join these ones, but it would have given me one extra. So I had to be very careful to rotate it to not connect those two. So I would just get seven to make it an even 21. All right. So I'm going to go get our ticket. Ticket! Twenty-one. Voila. Voila. There it is. Claim. Golden ticket. Golden ticket. Yeah, so we hope this helped. For those of you who are struggling with this puzzle, we tried to explain it the best we could. This is just the way also we did it. I don't know if it's the only way to solve it, but this is this has worked for us consistently. Yeah, and considering there's RNG, I I don't know if there's really a perfect solution every time. We hope this helps. Uh like the video if it did and if you're still having trouble you can comment and we can try to answer any questions you have we'll do our best and if you guys want to see more again in the description both of us and our links are there for watching us on twitch but also if you want to see the other playthroughs so thank you guys for watching and good luck